The Gospel of Mark begins not with a Christmas story, but with first an announcement that this is the beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ. That's huge, the beginning. It's like a big bang, just like Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Something huge and life-changing, world-changing is happening. But then, oddly enough, the next seven verses, the first section of the gospel of Mark is all about John the Baptist. Why? It's crazy. I think it's because God really wants to include people in his plan. He doesn't just want to redeem people. He wants to work through people to bring about his will for all of creation, for all the earth. And you know, you know why I think God wants to include us? Because he loves us. He doesn't just love us so much that he saved us, but he loved us so much that he brought us into partnership with himself in the fulfillment of his plan of salvation. My father-in-law was an expert at building rapport with people. He had a way of connecting that was so wonderful. He could build rapport in, in 90 seconds and then be sharing the love of Jesus in the next 90 seconds. It was absolutely amazing. And one of the things that he shared with me about connecting with people is to be vulnerable, that is to ask for help. One of the best things you can do to connect is just to say, you know, I've got a problem and I need your help. Well, God had a problem and he didn't need our help, but he wanted our help. He wanted to work through us because not just that he wanted to give us a chore to do, a task to do, to spread the gospel, and sometimes we treat it that way, but no, he invited us to help him to win the world, to reach the world with his love, and that says a whole lot about God's love for you and for me. So this Christmas season, as we're looking at opportunities to share Christmas joy and the hope, the peace that we find in Jesus, just remember, God's invited you into this amazing partnership with himself, and that speaks of God's love for you. God bless you. I hope you've been encouraged by this message. Victory Church is bringing these words of encouragement every day, Wednesday through Saturday. If you enjoy this message, we think you'll love our online worship services on Sundays and Mondays. You'll find even more online resources for connecting with God's family at getvictory.net. We invite you to visit us either online or in person soon. Until then, let's stay in God's presence and peace.